Good morning, Trinity VBS. Very good. Hopefully you had a good uh, morning today. Learning about I am God's child. And each of you have gifts and talents to uh, bring to God's team. Almond family has finally made it to uh, Florida. Uh, that was a quick trip, wasn't it? I wish it lasted uh, that quick in uh, real life, but it was about uh, 19, 20 hour uh, drive for us, but we are finally here. And it is gonna be four days of action-packed uh, volleyball, and I'm gonna try and get some different uh, video clips of uh, the volleyball action happening down here. I wanna talk about uh, the game of volleyball and the gifts and talents that uh, need to be brought together for uh, the team. Uh, each of my children are going to talk about some aspect of uh, the game of volleyball, and let's get started right over there. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm going to be a freshman at Racine Lutheran High School, and I will be talking to you about passing. It is the most important because without a pass, to the, a good pass to the setter, then the set can't happen and the hit can't happen. What, what do you need to do to be a uh, good passer? You need to have a good flat platform and you can't swing your arms, you have to bend your knees, that's where all the power comes from, and you need to have control, and you need to talk. You can't, you can't not talk in volleyball. You have to talk so the other people around you know that you're gonna get it, and you're gonna get it to your center. Very nice, let's uh, see what one looks like. Oh, nice, all right, number two. Hey, I'm Rosie Almond. I'm gonna be a junior at R.C. Lutheran High School. And I'm going to talk to you guys about setting. All right. What uh, important uh, gifts does a person need to have to be a good setter? Um, when I think of it, you need to have nice hands, nice flat hands, nice and soft, quick feet so you can get to the ball, square to the net. Um, what I think of it as, you're drinking like a two liter of soda, so your hands are like, kind of make a triangle. Oh, yeah. And then uh, once you set, you have the full extension of your hands flat, so then you won't get called for a double contact. Um, what the, the position of setter is uh, similar to maybe what other uh, sport and position? Uh, quarterback on a football team, because you're the one calling all the plays, you're the one head in charge of the team and everything, so. All right, let's uh, see what a uh, set looks like. Very nice, all right. Child number three. Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Um, I graduated from Trinity and from Racine Lutheran High School. And now I go to DePaul University down in Chicago. And I'm gonna be a sophomore there next year. And I actually still play volleyball in college. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about hitting, okay? And blocking, but mainly hitting. All right, what uh, talents uh, do you need to have to, uh, to contribute to hitting in volleyball? Well, height. Is, um, is something that's very helpful. Okay. Something you can't really work on either. But um, being able to jump also really helps because you're the one who has to reach over the net to hit the ball. And um, you, got, you have to be able to see the blockers. And in order to do that, you have to make sure you stay behind the ball and get on top of it and swing all the way through and use, use your wrist. Very nice. All right. Let's uh, see what a hit looks like. Go ahead. Oh, me ouch. Sorry. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. All right, and uh, child number four. Hi everyone, I'm Becky. Um, I also went to Trinity, graduated, also went to St. Lutheran and graduated, and I go to Concordia, Chicago, which is in River Forest. I'm gonna be a senior this year, which is kind of hard to believe, but yeah, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about coaching. What, uh, what gifts and talents do you need to have to be a good volleyball coach? Um, first of all, knowledge of the game is a big, big part of it. Even playing has a big part of it. Playing for many years, just being around the sport, watching if you can watch. It doesn't have to be volleyball too, but just being a good coach all around, you have to know a lot about the sport, be willing to adapt to different ideas, new changes and everything, and just be a good like motivator and just try and push your team to victory. All right, we're going to have, uh, you, you want to explain what uh, the girls are going to do sure. uh, behind us here? Um, what's going to happen is my three sisters are going to be doing what's called a three-person pepper, which means there's going to be Rachel and Sarah are going to be on the outsides, and Rosie, who's the setter, is going to be in the middle. What happens is Rachel will pass to Rosie. Rosie's going to set the ball to Rachel. Rachel's going to then hit it to Sarah, and then 
Again, Sarah's going to pass to Rosie. Rosie's going to set to Sarah, and Sarah's going to hit to Rachel. All right. So, it's so hopefully it looks something a little productive. Here we go. Hi. Here we go. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Ow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good try. Good try. All right. Let's uh, keep it going another couple times here. There's a hit, there's a pass, there's a set, there's a hit, oh, good try. The thing that Sarah talked about was the communication. Notice how they're all calling for the ball. That's huge in volleyball. That's huge even doing in simple drills, any drill. So communication is definitely key in this. All right, we're going to keep uh, peppering. I'll uh, finish up with uh, you guys here. Uh, we have a whole lot of volleyball happening and hopefully going to give you some uh, live footage at this uh, tournament. Day number one starts today and I think we're going to the ESPN Sports Complex so that will be a whole lot of fun. Uh, miss you guys. Uh, love you. Peace out. See ya.